Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Floating Our Boat. Uh, we've had uh, quite a busy week, Fran. We have. We've travelled from Whitchurch to just beyond Ellesmere, which is where we're moored up now in the middle of nowhere. And it has taken us, well, I think more than a, a week. week. Yeah, it's had over it's a just, week. <laughs> yes. We're not rushing, we're just taking our time. Um, but we've had friends come and stay for the weekend, which is great. We've met up with uh, another a couple of YouTubers on their narrowboats. Video coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most exciting thing... We went to see the boat. I've got our yeah. friends, guests that came to stay. They had the car with them. So um, the payment for staying on our boat for two days was that they took <laughs> us to see the new boat. And uh, just so exciting again. So um, we went back to Middlewich to Elton Moss Boat Builders and uh, actually got on board this time. Uh, it's in dry dock, the boat. It's been shot blasted back down to the metal and uh, had its first coat of primer on the top. Uh, but inside it's just been spray insulated with foam and there's wires here, there and everywhere oh my dangling God, around. Yeah. <laughs> and because we've changed the layout of it, there's some rewiring has got to be done, hasn't it? They've yeah. got to move electric, electricity points over, plug sockets over, um, which is the next stage. And then I think we've got to choose colours really quickly because I think they're going to be undercoating, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, we've, uh, we've got a good idea of what the colour combination is, but um, the colour red we want to use, lots of people have said, oh, it fades quickly and that, so we need some advice on that. The boat still has no name. We've got a few names in mind, but we just can't decide at the moment. So, yeah, we're not keeping it a secret. We're really not. We just can't decide, no, can we? So, no, we've got, we've got about three or four names and we'll whittle it down to two and um, then we'll probably decide the day that it's launched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the great thing is also about the boat that it's going to be number 100. Oh yes, how lucky is that? And that hasn't been worked out, it's just how it has happened that ours is boat number 100. So it's a bit of a momentous occasion for Elton Moss as well, isn't it really? Yeah, so we'll have to come up with a good name for that, won't we? Because they paint, they paint, <laughs> they paint on the side of the boat the, the name of the boat builders and the number of the boat. So it's going to be number 100. Yes. That's how coincidental is that? That's amazing. Summer, eh? Right, are we ready to roll? Allergy City and go. Take 102. So we're on a lovely uh, little five, six mile cruise today. Dead excited because we're going to meet um, another couple of YouTubers. Lovely people. Well, um, you say that. We haven't met them yet. Well, they come across on YouTube as lovely people, but um, well, let's see what they've got to say about us when they've met us as well. <laughs> so we've been building up to this for a while, but we've just not been all in the same place and uh, they've been on the Clangothlan Canal for a little while. So we're going to just spend a little bit of time with them. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, actually. Looking forward to it. We've got the gin. <laughs> that gives the game away. <laughs> now they all know who it is. Um, it's a safe little five mile cruise, nothing spectacular about it, lovely scenery, but it's been so busy, hasn't it? Really busy, boats coming this way, boats going that way, overtaking us. 
And they're all going quite fast. We've pulled over to let five boats go past us because, you know, we go very, very slowly. Um, but, you know. That's the thing with the Slangarthwin Canal. It's uh, just a one linear canal. You can't do a circuit. It's there and it's back. And I guess the holiday boaters, bless them, they've only got a week to do it in. So they've got to keep going all day yeah. just to uh, see all the good sights that we've got to see yet. Yes. And it's no problem to us, you know, we, we don't like being followed, we don't like having a boat behind us, it just feels like it puts us under pressure, so we'd rather just pull over and let them go. Yeah. It's just easier for everybody. It is. I've got a boat coming towards me through the bridge now. That's fine, plenty of room. But, um, and if Rich looks a bit red-eyed, he's not been crying, I've not been yeah. mean to him, don't threaten me, he's just got a little bit of an allergy attack again. A little bit, it's um, just uh, summer fun. It's <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our world of misery. <laughs> Any remedies will be greatly received. <laughs> on the bottom. On the oh, bottom. they got stuck. You okay? You stuck? You'll be alright, will you? I think somebody else just got stuck before you as well, so. This is the second time down this stretch. Oh, is it? <laughs> what fun, eh? No, there's no water, it's so... Look how slow we're going. I can't get up. We're not going anywhere. Why are we stuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's just bizarre. Go on, girl. I don't think I can. Oh, my back end's off now, I might be able to go. They're stuck again. Give up. I've never known anything like that. <laughs> Holiday boaters there got stuck on the right hand side as they were coming through. And we tried to get through past them and we got stuck. <laughs> so we're all all moving now. It must be, must be really silted up just at that point there. Well, this is who we've been chasing down all day. It's the Well Deck Diary crew. Mark and Debs. Here we are aboard with Well Deck Diaries. Hello everybody. Hi. And uh, we had a early night last night with a couple of sherbets and it was a early to bed, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was yeah. very early. Yeah. Early hours yeah. of the yeah. morning. Oh, <laughs> God. So look at the time now, pointy finger. Yeah. Pointy finger there. <laughs> it's catching, it's catching. So if you don't know Well Deck Diaries, you should do, please go and have a look at their channel. It's uh, Well Deck Diaries. Well Deck Diaries. <laughs> and um, if you like us, you'll like them. And a, a link below. Yeah. <laughs> a link below. Yeah. 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 Somewhere across the bottom here, yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah, Well Deck Diaries. Give them a look up and subscribe. So that's all we've done this week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that's about it. That's all we've done. We haven't had an awful lot of time to investigate um, either Ellesmere or Whitchurch as much as we would have liked to. We know there's stuff to see, 
but it's not a problem we're going back obviously and um, we want to leave some stuff to do on the on the journey back we don't just want to have a straight journey back so we need to walk around Ellesmere Lake and visit the castle yeah um, and also Whitchurch a little bit more there's some historic buildings in Whitchurch I think we want to see so we haven't forgotten stuff but obviously we like to keep moving and then we'll catch up on the way back on everything else we've missed won't we so tomorrow we're booked in to go down the Frankton Flight of Locks onto the Montgomery Canal, which are only open three hours a day, but you have to book your passage. Uh, so that's apparently a very quiet stretch of canal, not many people venture down there. So we'll be looking forward to that. We've got a few locks to do, haven't we, I think? A few locks. But yeah, a staircase, a staircase lock, lock as well, lock. yeah. But some people say there's not much. Other people have said it's quite interesting, so we'll make our own minds up like we yeah, always do, we won't do. we? Um, so that'll be next week's video, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.